two ways the American people get inspired. One way get, they get inspired is by great leaders who were, you know, called us to appeal to our better angels from Abraham Lincoln to all the way, you know, to FDR, to, to uh, John Kennedy, uh, Barack, et cetera, Barack, but Barack, et cetera, Barack. So folks, you want to nominate a Democrat, a lifelong Democrat, a proud Democrat, an Biden Obama Democrat. Why doesn't he just act like a president? That's a stupid way to say it. You know, Donald Trump was asked us. Sorry. How he's being Mm -hmm. soft on his xenophobia in the past. So I just I just can't figure the guy. It's like I don't know. It's like watching a yo-yo. I shouldn't have said it that way. It's like watching. It feels that way. I want to ask. I (laughs) want. It's okay. I want to I want to ask you what happens to the Democratic. Are you at all concerned, as Trump said, that we cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself? We have to take care of the cure that will make the problem worse no matter what, no matter what. We know what has to be done. And um, uh, our secretary of state insisted, and this broke the meeting up basically in terms of our influence, that this be called the Lujan virus. It's just. Yeah. But you got to, I mean, the, the, we got to reassure, look, my, my message to everybody I talk to. But if Donald, Hump, if Donald Trump is reelected. Boyd to have an excuse to walk by the dealer and say, no, I, I'm not going to be a mule. I, I, I'm, I, I, I got something to do. I got to go do boom, boom, boom. You know, the, it's, it's not, we're, we're no longer using chemical-based things. All this thing re- dealing with cancers and other issues related to the immune system are bio-oriented. Dane and I say hello to Jill as well. I will. And one of the things that I think we keep coming back to, and I've spent this morning talking to the docs that that used to work with Sanjay in our last administration and heads of other entities, uh, that, uh, um, you know, it gets down to testing. It's about uh, testing, tracing, and treatment. And uh, and still we're way behind on the testing piece. And I don't quite I don't quite understand why we're taking so long to do the kinds of things that that have to be done. Um, You know, there's a uh, during World War Two, you know, where Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that, uh, you know, was totally different than a then the, the it's called he called it the you know the World War Two he had the war the, the war production board. Well, I don't know why we don't set up something like a pandemic production board, where we we have to invest more money in dealing with pandemic research, dealing with viruses, dealing with studies relating to what these viruses are likely to be in the future. There's more than one one you know coronavirus. This 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 COVID nine is one strain of that, and look. When America goes alone, when, when America is first, it's America alone. Everyone understands that the environment has impacted on this coronavirus and mounting evidence of that. Well, I will make an educator, an education that, in fact, Jill, my wife, is a, 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 a professor at a community college. Supply of those N95 masks, excuse me, 96 masks. You know, there's a, uh, during World War Two, uh, you know, where Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that uh, you know was totally different than a than the, the it's called he called it the you know the World War Two he had the war the, the war production board six policy working groups one on the economy one on education one on criminal justice it should be reform not punishment one on immigration climate change and the economy. <laughs> Is Joe Biden a vegan? No, Joe Biden's not a vegan, although my wife is pushing me. Most of the meals I eat, quite frankly, don't have meat. A lot of chicken, a fair amount of fish. I'm big on ice cream, and uh, that puts me in real trouble. You know what I mean? You know, uh, one of the things that uh, when we were in office and we had the, the financial meltdown, the president put me in charge of getting out the recovery money, which was 800 and I don't know, excuse me, it was 80, almost uh, $89 billion. I guess it came to 84 at the end, 84 billion. Georgia, Florida, even in Texas, but I'm gonna spend my life campaigning for other Democrats. In 1918, 
excuse me, in 2018, I campaigned for over in 24 states for over 65 candidates. That, I mean, we should be invest. We, we should become the net exporter of the new technology by investing the $40 billion in the, uh, the, the, the $400 billion I'm proposing in research and development for new ways to absorb carbon, new ways to, you know, make sure that we can have a, a, a system nationwide that can, trans that, that can transmit coal and, uh, and, and uh, wind across the country. Uh, and so, but we're not investing in those things, Joe. We're not investing in any of it. They all create jobs. The biggest employer, fastest growing employer is in the area of solar and wind. Delaware used to be part of Pennsylvania. That's right, but we declared our independence on December the seventh. By the way, you know, <laughs> and it's not just T Day anyway. But look, um, this pandemic, the pandemic is that the president has no intercourse whatsoever with the rest of the country, the, uh, the world on dealing with these things. There's only a couple things everybody has in common in jail. One is. They were <clears throat> the victims of abuse of their kids were, or their, or, their, or, their, or their mother was. Number two, can't read. Number three, they don't have any job skills. They were in a position where they didn't get a chance. I'm prepared to say that I have a record of over 40 years and that I'm going to beat Joe Biden. I'm going to beat Joe Biden. And especially when you know you're going to be in a position where you're going to inadvertently get closer than 12 feet to somebody. I know we're 12 feet apart. I get that. But uh, this first question, Mr. Vice President, is from a voter in California. Let's listen to this. Okay. Hi, Vice President Biden. My name is Navid. Hi. I am from San Mateo, California. And thank you so much for allowing me to participate in this town hall with you. I'm thank right you thinking about that. Last question real quick. Some have speculated, sir, line, that, that, you, that you are subject to some degree of cognitive decline. I'm 65. I don't have word recollection that I used to have. I forget my train of thought from time to time. You got 12 years on me, sir. Are, have you been tested for some degree of cognitive decline? I've been tested and I'm constantly tested. Look, all, you, all I got to do is watch me and I can hardly wait to compare my cognitive capability to the cognitive capability of the man I'm running against. Thank you so much. It's not fair. The Constitution says all men and women are created equal. I think we all agree that the act of, of protesting should never be overshadowed by the reason we're protesting. He's going down to Texas on Juneteenth, right? The first major massacre, literally speaking, of the uh, Black Wall Street, right, years ago. You know, the rapidly rising uh, um, uh, in with, uh, with uh, I don't know, uh, uh, this. I'm beginning to get bored by my own talk here. But uh, <laughs> why don't Now, there's another question. I think we have a, a question coming up uh, uh, now from someone else. Is that true? Am I correct? Hi, President that? Obama, MVP Biden. My name is Flor Hi. Garcia. I'm from Seattle, Washington. My question to you is, what are you going to do to make the health care system more accessible to people of color? You're an ICU nurse, aren't you? Is that what I was told? Well, the answer is, I think she is. This pandemic is... Stop, stop the cold war future that we're talking about. We're talking about a, cold, a peaceful Cold War. What are we talking about? Wake up.